So you've been taking iron supplements, but your iron is still low. Well, you might have been taking it wrong all along. Stick around and I'll tell you exactly why your iron is still low. Let's go through six reasons why you haven't been getting the best out of your iron supplements. Reason number one, taking too little. I often have patients telling me they've been taking 300 milligrams of iron, but it turns out they've been talking about the iron salt. All iron in supplements comes attached to a salt, such as in ferrosulfate or iron polymaltose. You'll be able to see the amount of salt on the product packaging as well as the elemental iron. Make sure to choose a product with the correct amount of elemental iron. The standard dose currently, as recommended by the guidelines for iron deficiency and anemia is at 100 to 200 milligrams of elemental iron per day. But speak to your healthcare provider with regards to which dosage you should be taking. Some products also contain folic acid. Folic acid doesn't contribute to your iron intake but can be beneficial if you're anemic. Only take this if it's recommended by your doctor. Reason number two, taking it too often. More recent studies have shown that if you take iron too often, the absorption rate decreases. After we take iron, our body releases a hormone called hepcidin. This regulates the amount of iron absorbed by the the body. Now studies have shown that after we take iron supplements, the levels of hepcidin in our body increases for about 24 to 48 hours. This means that if you take another dose of iron within that time frame, less iron will get absorbed into the body. A higher percentage of iron will get absorbed into the body if you take iron every second day rather than every day. But you should always speak to your healthcare provider first. Reason number three, taking it at the wrong time. It can be a bit confusing as to when you should take your iron supplements. To maximize your absorption, here are four tips. Tip number one, take it in the morning. Our hepcidin levels follow our body's natural circadian rhythm, so hepcidin levels are lowest in the morning. Taking iron supplements in the morning will give you the best absorption. Tip number two, with or without food. Most forms of iron are best absorbed on an empty stomach. This means at least one hour before or two hours after food. In particular, the fairest forms of iron need to be taken on an empty stomach. Some other forms of iron on the other hand, such as iron polymaltose, are better absorbed taken with food. Check with your pharmacist in regards to whether your iron should be taken with or without food. Tip number three, take it with vitamin C. Vitamin C helps with the absorption of iron. You can take this in tablet form in combination with the supplements or just take your iron with a glass of citrus juice such as orange juice, kiwi juice or grapefruit juice. Tip number four, space it out from certain medications, supplements and foods. Check with your pharmacist if the medications you take decrease your iron absorption. If in doubt, then space them two hours apart. In particular, space your iron at least two hours apart from calcium supplements and antacids. Certain substances in food can decrease iron absorption so make sure to space these out as well. These include calcium which can be found in milk, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, tofu and green leafy vegetables. Tannins which can be found in tea, coffee and wine. Phytates which can be found in whole grains, legumes, beans, nuts and cereals. Phosphitin which can be found in egg yolks. Reason number four, taking the wrong form of iron. Fast release formulations have been shown to have the highest iron absorption. Studies have shown that ferrous gluconate is better absorbed than most of the other forms of iron. However, there is less elemental iron in these, so you may have to take more to get the same effect. Ferrous sulfate with vitamin C is still the standard recommended iron if you have iron deficiency anemia, but speak to your healthcare provider. Reason number five, not taking it for the correct time frame. It takes about one month to get the iron levels back up in your body but a further three months to increase your iron stores. In total, you need to be taking your iron supplements for at least three to six months if you're iron deficient. Reason number six, not taking it at all. If you've had a bad experience with stomach upset or constipation from taking iron supplements, then it's quite possible that you've stopped taking it. If this is the case, then speak to your pharmacist about taking an iron that is more gentle on the stomach. You can also watch my video here on ways to reduce iron side effects. Also consider with your current iron tablets, if taking it with food makes you less nauseous, then by all means take it with food. It's better to take it with food and get less absorbed than to not take it at all. So try these tips and if your iron is still low then you may need to speak to your doctor about getting an iron infusion. If you found anything useful in this video please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!